hey guys welcome back to the test money plan i'm alex that's curvy uh today's topic is going to be that wealthy the wealthy think that money is only used to make more money so obviously we talk about this a lot on the uh on the channel um curvy before i go into this what are your what are your thoughts um it's a i mean for us it's a simple concept because we live in we live it every day but the only purpose that I see for money is to make more. I mean, of course, people gonna say, oh, what about your bills? What about, you know, utilities? What about food? Yeah, that's a very small percentage of the money that comes in. But my goal when I wake up is not, oh, how I'm going to pay my bills. My goal, my goal is wake up every day. And it's not a, you know, every, and it's funny. This is the funny thing. People think that wealth building is an on and off switch. They believe it's a, oh, you only do that on the weekends. Like it's the National Guard or something. You know, one weekend a month, two weekends a year. It's every day. It's a way of life. It's not a turn off, turn on thing. It's not, hey, let me go ball out and pop bottles in the club. And then, oh, let me get back to this wealth building thing. It's just a way of life. Um, but every day I wake up, I'm only thinking about how to generate more money. I mean, and I don't care what facet it's in, unless it's illegal, unless it's illegal. Um, but it's finding ways to generate more money. And I mean, in the real estate, in the real estate area, it's and maybe improving improving properties or uh, acquiring properties to get a, a better monthly cash flow. Improving properties uh, to get higher appreciation. And the stock market is looking at a very undervalued, undervalued company and doing the research on that to get appreciation. If it's a dividend stock, Looking at looking for high yielders to bring in quarterly cash flow. And if it's businesses looking for businesses that's at an attractive price that I can acquire, I can automate, I can put systems in place to have it more run. I'll say more run. I'm not gonna say completely passive because at the beginning I will have you I will do work, but seeing if it's you know jobs or something very boring that I can acquire to create more income. That is what my day consists of. Not, oh, how I'm gonna pay the light bill. Hey, what club I'm gonna go to? What restaurant I'm gonna go to? Do I go to the restaurants? Yes. But that's not even a, it's not a, oh, let me sit down and count my nickels and dimes to see if I can afford a drink or not. It's the byproduct of going out there and doing the work. My focus is making the money. So that's, and everybody thinks, everybody thinks that this is a, again, even people that's known me for years, they were like, man, do you ever stop thinking about it? No, I don't. Do you ever start thinking about it? When do you start thinking about it? But yeah, but, but I'm not sitting here, I'm not sitting here with a calculator in my brain we you know, well, probably I do, but but I'm sitting here with a calculator, just what's that, running numbers all day. But I'm always looking for opportunities, always looking for opportunities. It's not, it's not, oh, because I want so much money so I can let people know, you know, I'm balling out. No, that's just, I love the game. I love the game of wealth of trying to acquire, trying to acquire, trying to build, trying to build. It's not, I'm not going anywhere and going to buy a, a mansion or something. I don't, I don't like to clean. I mean, I did an audit of my house. Right now, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom. That's the only rooms we're in. Well, me in my office. But that's the only rooms we're in. Why would I go buy 16, 17 rooms just so they don't be used? I only have one kid in the house. So why buy more stuff when we're all right here? That's why Warren Buffett could buy one house in 1960 
and still be in that house today in 2023. And he's worth 10 figures. Well, he's almost 10 figures, right? No, he's more than that. 100, 100 billion. 100 billion. And he's still and he's still in he's still in the same house that he bought in 1960. Middle class neighborhood. Nothing special. Because we just like the game. We just like the game of acquiring, 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 improving, building. That's all it is. And then don't get mad at us because we don't have your same philosophy of Oh, acquire, spend, blow the money, blow the money. Uh, hope we can pay the cable bill. Hope we can afford groceries to try to do it all over again. Why keep repeating a cycle that for centuries, decades, hell, even BC didn't work, but we're still trying to do the same thing today. But I'll get off my soapbox, Alex. Go. Yes. No, <laughs> I know where you're coming from. Um, yeah, and that's, that's all it is, is just... Um building and growing and we've talked about this before like you know the idea is you know setting the foundation and then wherever your money is left to those generations or whatever company it's left with for that to grow in better society in the future like and like you said it's a lifestyle people have this habit where they like they want to make a good paycheck and then they just want to go back to partying or blowing it with that mentality you will never be able to compete with someone who has it as their lifestyle never like because that person is actively doing it 24 7 i mean and i can probably relate like every day it's i don't know every day i think about money <laughs> i don't know if that's a addiction or what but i mean it's just it's constantly on my brain is the next goal the next property the you know what's the, what's the next point from here you know just constantly looking at the next deal and um but that that's all it is whether it's you know thinking of the youtube channel where can we be you know by the end of the year when you know the next property uh, you know, thinking about the the stock market, uh, it's closed because of Easter. That sucks. You know, so, <laughs> you know all these things. But you know, the majority, and I've seen people, and I'm sure you've heard people like they they want to they want to you know they people have probably like even challenged you like oh I you know I could be as good as you or whatever, but they just they don't do it they don't keep a life they don't make it into a lifestyle and like that's the only way to be successful and it's you know the the wealthy are thinking about how to make more money that's that's all it is and, and people want to label the wealthy greedy but it's really not it's not greed it's they acquiring it's the sport the money is just a byproduct of the work that they want to they put in I mean, once you get past, let's say, there's no difference between 10 million and 15 million. There's no difference. There's no difference between 100 million and 200 million. The lifestyles won't change between those, those realms. It just won't. And it's just the money that the network, people don't live off their network anyway. I mean, I know that's a big number they like to talk about on the internet. People cannot live off their network. Their network is just, you know, something on the scoreboard that make everybody who don't understand network ooh and ah. Nobody can live off their network. Not a Jay-Z, not a Billy Ray Cyrus, not a Tom Cruise. Nobody can live off their network. And 99% of the time, whatever Google or whoever got, they don't know what the hell they're talking about anyway. But you still can't live off your network. Only thing you can live off is the money that that network generates. Some people, their network is illiquid and it don't generate anything. Especially if it's, let's say, in cryptocurrency. Only time their money, only time cryptocurrency generate money that they can use is if they sell it. So then the value, so the amount that they have in cryptocurrency is, it dwindles. 
but you only can live off the money or the cash flow that that net worth generates. And it's never the amount that they say their net worth is. So if you see somebody say, oh, their net worth is a billion dollars, that does not mean they're getting a billion dollars a year. No it is. Because if somebody's making a billion dollars a year, their net worth is upwards of 10 to 15 billion dollars. So try to use the 10% rule, whatever, or you know, five to 10% rule. Whatever somebody's net worth is, they may be generating five to ten percent of that a year. That'll give you a rule of thumb of how much money they're making a year. And so if somebody say they're they're a millionaire, they probably I mean, they could only be bringing in, let's say, $1 million. They probably could only be bringing in $100,000 a year. It's possible. So understand that's how that works. But the name of the game is doing the work, going in there, and just understanding that wealth is about the process, about the mindset, about a way of life. It's not about, it's not how people play church. Oh, yeah, I go on Sunday. I'm Christian on Sunday, but I'm just at the club on Saturday. You know what I mean? Again, it's not like that. And every time you think that that's how it's going to work, you stay, you'll be stuck in the same sock where you're in. It's just the way of life. Well, guys, with all that being said, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment, uh, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.